Hallelujah. My name is Teresa. I had wanted to give this testimony last week, but I was late. Um, it, it's about, uh, it happened about uh, nine years ago. I think last week, Papa has been teaching us about prophecies and prophetic directions. I want to give a testimony about that. I, I was looking for the fruit of the womb. I prayed. It was, we prayed. It was over two years we were praying, trusting God. But finally, God did it. But you know the wonderful thing that happened? I was given the date that I was supposed to deliver. So I had that in mind. Um, I applied for maternity leave, and my boss said I should give him one week. But I had in my mind that Prof had told me I would deliver on a Tuesday. So that Monday I went to work, and the Tuesday, it just dawned on me that tomorrow is Tuesday, we don't go. <laughs> I was walking in the prophetic direction. So that, Monday, that Tuesday morning, I think um, it was nurses and doctors strike around that day, and I slept. So when I woke up, I saw myself in a pool of blood. Then I said, wow, this one. The devil is smart too. So I was just recounting, if I had gone to work, I lived at Tema then, and then my hospital was at Tema. Um, I, I lived at Tema, uh, uh, my hospital was at Tema, I worked at Adabraka. Look at the distance from the office to the workplace. It means that I would have died or lost the baby. Uh, when we went, the doctor, were, they were surprised because I had been to the hospital the previous day and there was nothing that showed that I had complication. They said the baby is fine. He's, she is dropping nicely. And they were even surprised. The, the baby, I don't know, they, they have a medical term for it. Baby It had turned. And it's, it, it looked so complicated. We didn't know what to do. But I am grateful to God that he saved my life through um, the prophecy that I received. And I'm alive today, and my daughter is alive. Amen. Do not despise the prophecy.